Shalom everyone and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity. Last time we left off, we sorted out the issue that I was having with the inscribers in the applied energistic setup we have. And today, 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 we are moving on to something different. Today we are moving on to auto crafting. And the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to teach the AE system how to auto craft our stored blocks from our uh, processing system over here. How to turn those blocks back into ingots or redstone dust or etc. And I think I need to carve out a place to set up this system. I'm going to want a new side of the ME controller, so what do I have to work with? I have the back to work with, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, the back is we're gonna be a bit of a pain to work with. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves some cable. The good thing about the Ender IO conduits for this is that I can make sure that they don't interact with themselves, which is nice. Because I could theoretically thread another cable between where I plan on putting, uh, where I have my current processor and where I plan on putting a secondary processor. I could just thread it straight back behind these two. Uh, oh, hold on. Yeah. I didn't realize that my processors were off center. And then I wanted to remove that. I want to remove that. So zero channels, perfect. I still want to remove that, that, that. And then remove that, that. And we're still on zero channels, perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to go back here, carve out a little slice of area here. That should be good to start. So what I want to do is I want to build... this okay so first things first I need to put down our molecular assemblers and then I need to put on the interfaces that will be connecting to them so right now I'm using the interfaces uh, I just turned the block interfaces down into these little panels and that allows me to attach four of them like so and do that so now each of these has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spots for patterns. Each one of these does, but it does take up four channels as opposed to the normal, um, normal one of a single interface. So, certainly a trade off, but uh, hopefully a decent one. So now this has. Oh. Is it not device offline? Why? Nope, there we go. Four channels. Four channels hooked up. Perfect. Oh, hold on. Why? Why no channels? Device offline. Four channels, four channels, four channels. Four channels, four channels, whatever. That shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, no, that'll be fine. Okay. So there you go, we have all these functioning. So I can put 
nine patterns on each of these assemblers. And then I can go ahead and do the same over here. Boop. Go ahead, put one glass cable in here and pull this guy over here like so. Devices missing channels, devices online. Awesome. So now we have eight channels going already, which is fantastic. Which means that in each of these, um, each of these directions, so on this side I can put four more molecular assemblers behind those. I can put four more behind these. I can put eight over here, and I can put eight down below or up above. I think, because we're probably close to the surface here, I think I'm going to have my access channel up above, and we're going to build the fourth one down below. So yeah, that's the plan for now anyway. So now we have four of these molecular assemblers, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to teach one of these molecular assemblers how to make redstone dust because we already have export buses on our inscribers telling the system to auto craft some redstone to put into there. So I'm going to take one of these patterns that we have. Actually, I pretty probably only need the one, right? So let's go over to you. Let's clear you. Let's write that. Oh no, it's going to be a crafting. There we go. So now this crafts redstone blocks with redstone. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So let's go over to one of our molecular assemblers. And you'll see in our system we currently have no redstone. No redstone at all. Now I'm going to go over to here. This guy here, I'm going to tell you how to make redstone blocks. Why are you offline? Hmm. Why are the assemblers offline? They should be connected. Do they connect to the network? Oh, they do. Does that take a channel? Doesn't look like it does. Okay, that's good to know, though. Yeah, just because I like the aesthetic. Okay. So for some reason they're not getting power from the cable down below in the middle. So now that guy should have just made some redstone for us. No? Didn't. Interesting. Why did it not? Huh, because the inscriber should be making a request to the system to fill these guys with redstone. It should be. Unless, hold on, do I have the wrong... Setting on the export bus. Use stocked items or craft items while exporting. Do not use stocked items, only craft. No. Okay, so that's the difference here. So why aren't you crafting 
because we don't have any stocked items, so you should be crafting. Some redstone blocks here, no? What if I put you in here? Have we made redstone yet? No, we haven't. That's strange. Will the export bus only... Hmm. I'm very perturbed by this. I assumed that the export bus would be telling the system to make redstone. For some reason, it does not appear to be. Hmm. Okay, well. May as well get all these things online anyway. Good to know that the assemblers don't take channels. So what I'm wondering then is... Are these not connected? I mean, it should be, no? I think, I'm pretty sure it's fine. Hmm. Capacity card, fuzzy card, card. Did I make the right card? I'm pretty sure a crafting card was the right card. Card. Capacity card, crafting card, fuzzy card, inverted card, redstone card, acceleration card. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I made the right cards. Hmm. It's possible that the only yeah, the only request going through right now is a request for silicon. For some reason that's being put out first. I don't know. Regardless, we currently have this setup working, I think. Oh, you know what I did? You know what the problem is? I told it how to make redstone blocks. I needed to t I need to tell it how to make redstone. <laughs> Whoops. Wow. I bet somebody's going to be uh giving me a hard time about that. For sure. Oh well. Fortunately, I can access the terminal from back here. Uh that's not Oh. It's not what I was going for. That, is that stored in here now? No, it's not. Okay, cool. Uh, what I want is to teach you how to do that. So, yeah. Pattern encoded. There you go. Now, it should theoretically have made us some redstone. Yep, eight redstone has been made. And redstone is probably currently being stored in... Here, here, and here. Awesome. Okay, so that worked out just fine. So it deconstructed one block. And took out three. Yeah, there you go. So there you go. We have six in the system. Perfect. Easy peasy. And now those six redstone are stored on this card. On that, uh, not that card. That, um, drive. That drive. 
That's the word I'm looking for. Lovely. So there you go. There's our first auto crafting process completed without even then needing to push a button. Uh, do, 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 do. I need to put some stuff away. I am over here because you are here. Is cobblestone full again? It is full again. I should consider increasing the storage on this thing. Awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to fill out the... Um, one, two, three, four. I'm going to fill out the rest of the channels. So we currently have eight going. It can hold 32. So that's what, 24 more of these? four more yeah okay so let's go ahead and grab these I love the ethereal platforms the ability to just walk through a wall get access to all the wiring and all that kind of stuff is pretty fantastic okay so we're gonna go back here one more And I'm going to go back like so. And I could actually, when I go to power the molecular assemblers, I could hook them up through the crafting processor because they don't require a channel, which is pretty fantastic. One, or they can power them each other. Okay, that's also fantastic. Okay, cool. So now this side has eight channels for a total of 12. Yep, perfect. And then I go over here. And if I put down the assemblers first, I'll actually be in a much better position. able to do uh, hold on let's do this first and then oh although I do need to access it from the back so that I can actually put patterns into those things go easy peasy so that brings us up to 16 channels yep perfect okay so now I go like this this is gonna be funky And then I need to get back behind that somehow. Go ahead and I don't have my shovel on me. Do I? Do I not? Where's my sh Oh, it's right on my bar. Because of course it is. Okay. 
then here, 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 here. We bring out cable once more. We go one, two, three. go and then it should be as simple as boop and that should bring us up to 24 yep perfect So we have 9, 18, 36, uh, 36 plus 18, uh, what about 36 times 2, can I do that one in my head, uh, 60, 72, 72? 72 recipes will be the amount of stuff I can do with this with this setup So the next one will be Nope not like that Okay, let's get down there. Oh, do I not have a way down there anymore? No, I don't. Huh. Okay. Let's go. Like so. And then like so. And one, two, three. Oh, no, I do need one more. Boop. Boop. Cool. So then I pull the dense cable like so. Let's just for the sake of appeal do that. And then let's go ahead and get that there and that there. And now we have ourselves 32 channels occupied on this side of the block. And we have 72 crafting recipes that we can fill out in this system. Easy peasy. Look at that. Okay. But that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff as always. If you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Any and all feedback is always very much appreciated. This was a uh, really... I was like so stressed that I would run into issues similar to the inscribers here but it looks like it's all hooked up just fine which is fan freaking tastic so yeah uh, if you did enjoy please consider leaving a like or a comment any and all feedback is always very very much appreciated it helps me out a ton and I do always love hearing from you guys and uh, I will see you all in the next episode uh, whoop. I know I can squeeze through here there we go so uh, bye for now.